welcome to another video here at Rick Shaves. All right, guys, so before I get in the shave, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be alerted to all future videos I post. With that being said, let's get into the shave. All right, Shave Wars, guys. This edition of Shave Wars, I'm taking two competitors, pound for pound, we're going to see if two blades is actually better than one blade. And I know what you're gonna say. Well, that's a double-edged safety razor. It has two blades. Yes, you're right, it has two blades, but you only shave your face with one blade at a time. This is different. This is the Gillette Track 2, and this is actually a Track 2 cartridge head here. So, and it has the twin blades on there. Okay, and of course this one is the one that came out back when it was 1971. It hasn't changed. So you can still actually buy these Track 2 type blades that does not have a lubrication strip, no microfilm strip, or microfin strip, sorry, microfilm, what is this, a James Bond movie? <laughs> so yes, guys, it has nothing, no, no bells, no whistles to it, it is just plastic and metal and essentially this is what replaced the safety razor because they said that two blades was better than one all right now for me i still have to do two passes with this razor to get a close shave i can do two passes with this one and get a very close shave so let's see if two blades is better than my old safety razor. Now what to, now we're really just focusing on the blades themselves, right? So this handle here is a vintage uh, track two type handle. I believe it's somewhere from the 70s or 80s, somewhere in there. I, one of the my subscribers and frequent commenters uh, kind of dated it for me, so I do appreciate that. And, uh, you know, but ultimately this is a vintage handle. That is not a vintage razor though. That, that is a, uh, that's a brand new one. Uh, again, you can still buy them. This is a 1960s-ish, it's somewhere in the 1960s. I forgot the date code. It does have a date code on here. It's, uh, what is it? I think it's K. So it's K2, so the second quarter and whatever K was, I know it was in the 1960s somewhere. Uh, but this is a Gillette Tech or Ball and Tech. And I have a Gillette Platinum double edge safety or double edge razor blade in there. So again, vintage, vintage technically, uh, Gillette Platinum, Gillette Track 2, head to head in this edition of Shave Wars. Let's see who's going to come out on top, one or two. Now I'm gonna do the uh, right side of my face with the track two, I'll do the left side with the uh, Vintage Tech. The soap I'm gonna be using, it was Valentine's Day a while back, just earlier this week, so have happy belated Valentine's Day, but my sweetie, my wife got me this here. This is Home on the Range from Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements. It has a very unique smell, guys. If you're like me and you like, you know, kind of like shooting guns and going hunting and fishing and stuff, this is definitely one to have in your shave den. Now, it's a, like I said, a very unique smell. They were kind of trying to get that gun cleaner smell, like that Hops Number no. 9 and some, they, I believe there's some gunpowder scent in there as well. It's kind of sweet, but yet masculine at the same time. My wife said it smells good. As a matter of fact, she says this would be what Sam Elliott wears. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. All right, so that's the soap. The brush, I have another one here from Phoenix. It is the Atomic Rocket. And this is a big brush. This is a giant brush here. Look at it. to my big head. It's, it's a good size. As a matter of fact, it's great for, uh, you know, when I shave my head, I do lather it up there, but it's gonna work just fine on the uh, 
on the face as well. Again, very solid built brush, synthetic knot, good size knot at that too. So that's the brush, great products from Phoenix here. And to top it all off, I have the matching aftershave, guys. The home on the range. Again, very unique scent. So, all right, guys, that's it. That's the showdown. Let's go ahead. Enough talking. Let's get into shaving. I'm going to wet my face. Already took a shower. Did my pre-shave routine. Just got to re-wet. I got about two days worth of growth on here so not a whole lot but again like I said I I shave pretty much every day couple every couple days I, I like to shave okay put this here for now that's situated wet this one more time shave wars guys shave wars I'm excited about this one. All right, let's go ahead and lather right from the from the tub here. I'm not gonna get a whole lot because I don't think I need a whole lot. Plus, to be fair as possible, I, I don't want a super thick rich lather, you know, like I, I normally get with most of these soaps. I want a little bit more of a thinner one just to give the track two a little bit more of an advantage because, or not an advantage, but just kind of equal it out because, you know, with cartridge razors, you shouldn't have, you know, thick gobs of shave cream. It's usually pretty thin. Lathering up really good, guys. You know, products from Phoenix, excellent stuff. Oh man, that scent, yeah. That's what I imagine, you know, Sam Elliott, maybe like, you know, Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, be wearing Charles Bronson from Death Wish, John McClane from <laughs> Die Hard, John Matrix from <laughs> Commando. There we go. Not super thick. But it lathered like a beauty. Clear these areas out. All right, right side, I'm gonna use the track two. Line it up. Again, it's the same. It hasn't changed since 1971. I still sell these. And uh, they're not, I mean, they're not cheap either. You know, they're, I mean, they're, you can get them kind of cheap. like on eBay and stuff, I think I got a pack of 20 or 20 count for $15. So I guess it's not too bad, but you know, compared to DE blades, I can buy my favorite Astra Superior Platinums for like eight or $9 and I get a hundred of those, you know, so, you know, compare and shop. But if you're looking at comparing this to like, the Mach 3 or, you know, the, you know, Gillette Fusion or something like that, then, oh yeah, you're going to, you're going to pay a lot less with these. You know, I think for four of those Fusion ones, it's like, you know, 12 or maybe 15 bucks for just that. Ooh, almost forgot. Shave Wars. <laughs> Supposed to be comparing. So far, doing a pretty good job. 
getting under the nose pretty good. I mean, it, it knocked that hair down. So the so the whole ad with these with these particular ones when they came out was that when they cut the hair, the initial blade, the first blade, kind of pulled the hair down, cut it, and before the hair could snap back into place, the second blade would come back behind and cut it, giving you a smoother, closer shave. Uh, than going, you know, doing multiple passes with a safety razor. Um, it's pretty smooth. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie, it, it shaved pretty well, um, but there's still stubble. I mean, it's still pretty coarse under here. You know, it's not super close or anything, but it did knock off a couple of days worth of growth. So it, it does shave. But again, like I said, I have to do two passes in order for me to get a, a closer shave. This would be, if I was in a rush and I didn't really care how I looked and where I was going, where I was going really wasn't that important. You know, uh, maybe, uh, I mean, but then why even bother shaving? You know, but I can see still see hair under here, uh, quite a bit of hair under here. So, all right, going to go ahead and... Uh, do this one with the Vintage Gillette Tech, Gillette Platinum. What's great is I can just stop there, flip it, and Flip it and then uh, get the other side there. Shaving really good, guys. Very mild shaving razor. This, uh, this vintage Gillette. It's okay under the nose, pretty decent, better than most other Gillettes. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, rinse my face. I'm gonna kind of feel how it how it feels after this first pass. Two blades versus one blade. I feel the same. I feel the same. They feel the same. <laughs> I don't feel like this one's any closer than this side. I really don't. All right. Maybe the second pass is going to make a difference. So let's, uh, let's see. Pass number two. And we'll just do a thin layer. Sorry, I gotta shave my head tonight too. 
Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more head shaves. Uh, I don't mind doing those. It's just that I just have a, I have a, you know, particular razors I like to use. So maybe I can show those, but I don't see them as, as really as so much as reviews. It's just me just kind of rambling and babbling about stuff. Okay, pass number two. I'm gonna kind of go uh, against the grain this way with the, uh, or cross kind of against with the track two. all of it let's see pretty smooth uh really really smooth there you know this doesn't give a bad shave guys it, it really doesn't Yeah, that, that feels pretty good. It feels pretty good under there. All right, let's get the uh, this half here. So far, so good. But well, let's see how the how the safety razor is going to do. I'm gonna start with the neck first here. I love this razor, guys. Smooth, sharp blade, Gillette Platinum. If it fills up, you can flip it over, use the other side. See, so your cartridge fills up, you gotta rinse it out. Pretty smooth, too. I don't know. Don't know.
Oh wow, yeah, that's, that's smooth. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's pretty smooth guys. All right, let's just do this last, last little area here and uh, call it, compare and call it. Looks like I got myself a little bit there. I keep it fair and even. That's pretty smooth. All right, guys, we're done. Let's go ahead and uh, rinse off real quick. I don't think I'm. You know what? Yeah, let me wet my face. Kind of feel it, but I'm gonna do that cleanup pass under the neck to try and really see. You know, kind of separate the men from the boys here and see if I can get a really good close shave under my neck here. Okay. Let's go back to the track two and let's kind of get those closer passes there. That's pretty smooth. That's pretty smooth. That's, I, I, I'm not saying that two blades aren't good, okay? As a matter of fact, uh, that's more than adequate, you know? And I always say, to be fair, to be nice, that three blades was probably where they should have stopped. You know, but two is sufficient, guys. All right, let me get this part here with the... Tech. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's... <sighs> All right, let's do a cold water rinse. We're done. Oh, that is cold too. this a feel oh man this towel has a bunch of fuzz on it oh, what the it's 
It's like everywhere. Oh. Oh, and just so you know, because I'm using vintage products or vintage razors, here you go. Little vintage shirt there, Legend of Zelda. Probably one of the best NES games uh, they ever made. And it was, yes, it was a difficult one. And it was a, one of those, you know, where do I go hunt for stuff kind of. That's kind of the, the whole purpose of it. I'm trying to get this fuzz stuff. It was a very unpleasant experience with that towel. But I will tell you what is not unpleasant. This shave I just got. Um, I'm really feeling. So, who's the winner? Between two blades versus one blade, is this way the cartridge better than the old traditional safety razor is the two-bladed cartridge razor? It's a draw. They feel equal. Same, I feel my face feels equally the same on both sides. That is a great shave. So either way, you're still winning, even if you use the Gillette uh, Track 2. But the whole purpose of the Gillette Track 2 was to say, oh, it gives you a closer shave. While it does give you a close shave, for my beard and my skin is no different than the old safety razor. It is a draw. There is no winner. Other than you didn't need two blades. One blade was more than enough. So I guess if you want to look at it that way, the traditional safety razor <laughs> came out on top. But ultimately, you know, it didn't do any better than this side. It's, it, it feels exactly the same. So I'm going to say it's a draw, guys. It's a tie. They both won. And you would win, too, if you use either one of these types of razors. Um, there, there are people who like these and use these. And uh, I, I, I'm going to tell you right now, guys, I love... My DE blades, I love these vintage ones especially. That's why I'm using two kind of vintage products here. But, um, you know, I absolutely fell in love with the Track 2 system. It's a, uh, it's quick, it's efficient. Um, it does a good job. It gives me a good shave and I don't feel like my skin is irritated or, or anything like that on either side. And it it's an equal shave. It, it feels the same. So, you know, you don't need two blades, but I can understand if you wanted to use this because it's a little quicker and, and you know, it's a, it's a little easier not to nick yourself with one of these. So some people like that appeal about it, that it, uh, you know, the nicks and cuts kind of go down a little bit more. You can go a little faster with one of these. And, uh, you know, yeah, it, uh, I, I see it's, I, I see it's potential and, and, and it's like ability for, for a lot of people, including myself. I, it's one of those that I just, I actually fell in love with after using it. I said, you know, they're not all bad razors. I think honestly, it's more than enough. Three is probably, you know, overdoing it. Um, but two is more than enough. A three, I, again, to be fair, I say three is three blades is is where they should have stopped. But two was more than enough. Close, comfortable, BBS, all the way around both sides. Feels the same. So can't say that enough. All right, let's throw some of this on here. And this has some 
Oh yeah, it smells good. It has some menthol in it too. So that's gonna, that's gonna give a little intensity to the shave. Little sting here on these areas where I went really close because those are, ooh, yeah, those are super BBS. Um, but I got on both sides. So that tells me that I went a little too close on each side here. <laughs> wow. Oh, man, that scent, that unique scent, that is a good one. And uh, again, it's unique. So if you're not into that gun cleaner, gunpowder kind of scent, it, it's not like like overbearing or anything like that. Oh, there's a little fuzz thing flying around. It's not overbearing. It's it's kind of got a little bit of a sweet note to it, but masculine too, you know? And that cooling effect that it leaves, oh, it makes my skin feel so nice. Yes. Wow. Super soft and smooth. All right, guys. Recap this edition of Shave Wars. It's a draw. This did no better than the old trusty, tried and true single, well, this is a double edge safety, but single blade, you know, compared to the twin blade, um, equally got the same shave. Again, I can see this, this type, this product's likability. I can see why some guys like it or prefer it. I can even see why some guys would uh, would use it over one of these. Now, it is a lot easier to cut yourself with one of these than it is one of these. And some guys like that option. Some guys maybe like just doing that single pass and getting, you know, it's, uh, it's okay, it's close enough, and they're done with it. But, yeah, the Gillette Track 2 versus the Gillette, safety razor and I have a Gillette Platinum in there and it's a draw. <laughs> Both perform equally well. Either way, you're a winner. Okay. Uh, soap again from Phoenix. Great scented soap. Is the home on the range. Again, very unique. The brush. The atomic rocket from Phoenix. I'm probably going to do a head shave with that here in a little bit. And honestly, uh, I used this to do my head shave the other day, The that Gillette uh, Sensor XL, and did a great job. Very close, very smooth. So I might try that track too tonight. I don't know. The... Uh, Matching aftershave, home on the range, has some menthol in there, has some other stuff in there to help with the healing process for the post-shave stuff. And, uh, you know, it just makes your skin feel soft and smooth and really nice. All right, guys, that's the shave. Hope you enjoyed this episode or this edition of Shave Wars. I will have more of these Shave Wars to come in the future but before i get on to those videos you have to first like the video comment down below subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be alerted to all future videos especially these comparison ones all right guys that's gonna do it for me i'll see you on the next one take care